Hi, I'm Emily Telfer from Scion, and this is Scion's Genetic Heritage Trail. Come with me and we'll take a walk through nearly 150 years of radiata pine tree breeding in New Zealand. So at the start of the Genetic Heritage Trail, we've got some Pinus radiata trees as they would have looked in the 1860s when it first arrived in New Zealand. And so we can see a lot of variation here. And while that's not very good for a forester, having that variation for a tree breeder is fantastic news experimentally. So over here we have another stand of unimproved trees, but this time some basic silviculture or tree maintenance has been done on the stand. Five out of every six of the trees have been thinned and the excess branches have been pruned. So we can see a vast improvement in the way the trees look. They're still not perfect, but again, silviculture is helping what these trees look like. So a huge amount of variation exists in the trees, but we can introduce still more variation into our breeding program from the different land types that are developed on the western seaboard of the United States. We can see here the Cedros, Cambria, Guadalupe, Monterey and Ananuevo. All these different types of Pinus radiata originated in different locations along the western seaboard of North America. And when we superimpose New Zealand's North Island at the corresponding latitude north, as New Zealand is south, we can see that those two types in particular, Ananuevo and Monterey, grow in a very similar climate. And that's why these two types became the founding fathers of New Zealand's Pinus radiata land type. So now we come to our first improved block of Pinus radiata. This is a result of controlled matings between trees that are showing the kind of traits we're interested in developing. We can see already improved stem straightness, there's less forking, there's more even branching, and this is just the result of their first round. This final block that we're coming to shows um, a second generation trial where control pollinations have been um, done and these are the progeny from a whole bunch of different families. You can see the best family is these trees with the pink stripes on them and the worst performing family are these trees with the blue stripes on them and you can see already that there's quite a lot of difference that's coming out of the breeding program. So when we get to the end of our journey this is what we come to, the best tree in the best family. And while this one is a result of just a couple of rounds of selective breeding and it's the end of our genetic heritage trail, this is really just the beginning for Pinus radiata in New Zealand.